right? Seems like LeBron James uh, Space Jam 2 cast is coming together. They were expected, and I believe still is expected, to film in the 2019 offseason. Let's talk about it. We back. Good Fella Sports TV. Make sure you share the video. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon if you haven't. So pretty much in original Space Jam, uh, they had Sean Bradley, Patrick Ewan, Larry Johnson, Grandmama, Charles Barkley, and Muggsy Bowles. Okay. And uh, this one, they only have four that's casted. Well, four males that's casted. Anthony Davis is going to be there. Obviously, that's a, I don't think that's a shocker after the Lakers pretty much acquired him. Chris Paul, Clay Thompson, and um, Damian Lillard. I think the biggest shock here is probably Damian Lillard. I think that was a really undergraded grab for them. Um, remember, the original cast wasn't po polarizing, uh, really. You know, Sean Bradley, he really wasn't nothing. Last time I heard of him, somebody stole his bike. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> uh, Charles Barkley, he was good, you know. Uh, Larry Grandmama, you know, he he had a solid career, but didn't really live up to UNLV. I think he had some knee injuries. Muggsy Bowles, huh? he was at a you know pretty good player. Um, Patrick Ewing, greatest fifty players of all time. So, um, you know, best case scenario for most people with this movie was that LeBron was gonna get Giannis, Steph Curry, James Harden. Uh, Kevin Durant got injured or, you know, so, you know, some of the, you know, polarizing figures, uh, I said Westbrook and, you know, possibly somebody like that. You know, I thought worst case scenario, he, I thought he should have grabbed Zion. I think grabbing Zion, that would have been dope. And maybe the young bull got a lot of things going on. And right I think Zion in this film, I think it definitely would have set it off. And like I said, one thing I noticed, he got four males casted and Michael Jordan went against five. So, Ryan Coogler be a director in the movie, so maybe it'll have a different twist on there now. Uh, Diana Taurasi is going to be part of this movie in some capacity. And, uh, and, um, an uh, old girl and her sister, uh, from ESPN. I can't pronounce her name, but, um, that is the African sister, real beautiful sister that be on, uh, uh, ESPN. She's a, she plays in the WNBA, but she's real, real beautiful to me. Um, and her and her sister going to be in it as well. You remember Larry Bird and Bill Murray was in there. So we'll see how, how they do this, man. It's going to be interesting how they going to spin it, man. For me, I think I thought it was a bad idea for them to try to call it Space Jam 2 and remake it. I just thought it was a – I mean, the first one was so good. It, it, it ain't going to come down LeBron acting skills. Michael wasn't a big actor, but, um, you know, wasn't a great actor. He didn't, You don't have to be. But what made it great was the, the storyline was original. Okay, the movie was great. Bill Murray, great role. Okay, and also, and, and, and what happened is the soundtrack was one of the greatest movie soundtracks of all time. Above the Rim, I mean, you have a lot of really good ones, but Above the Rim and Space Jam are two that stick out to me. You know, it's talk about movie soundtrack. So they got a lot to live up to. What makes it me more comfortable is that I think. Uh, LeBron ain't gonna put no garbage out there. And Ryan Coogler, who directed uh, Fruitville Station, and also he directed the Black Panther movie. They got, a, I think they both gonna have, they got a good reputation, and I think they gonna find a way to put their own twist on it. And um, I think LeBron should have did it, you know, a little early in his career, but it don't really matter. Uh, I love Damian Lillard in it. I love, you know, uh, you know, Clay Thompson in it. And Chris Paul, don't nobody want him, it seemed like. They tried to trade him to the Knicks uh, yesterday. Don't nobody want his ass, but at least they want him for Space Jam. So, at the end of the day, maybe Melo will get the last male spot, or maybe they go with these four males and put Tarasi, uh as one of the spots. So, that would be a twist, I think. You get the feminist, uh, the female, and the Me Too movement behind the film, putting Deanna Tarasi in there. I think she's one of the, the best female basketball players I've seen play, her and Cheryl Miller. I mean, wonderful women in uh, Candace Parker, obviously Lisa Leslie. I mean, I can go on and on with uh with some of the uh, great uh, female ballers. Michelle Miller is the goat to me, okay, by far. Uh, but hey, I like it. It's coming along. I put an article from ESPN in the description, and um, you know, we'll see, man. Remember, they. I mean, if they want to go with a comedian role, I don't think Kevin Hart to be right for this film. He may. But Bill Murray just played a great fucking role, I mean, in this film, man. So we'll see. You got here, Michael Goffin. And we'll see how they do it. And they're going to put their own twist on it, man. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm going to support it. I, I support what LeBron do um, off the court. And uh, I'm definitely going to support it. I like all the got people that's in it so far. So we'll see him, the twist that him and Ryan Coogler put on it, man. I think it's going to be good.
you know, at first I thought it was going to be hot garbage, but now the people that he surrounded himself with and him having to make an impact and a big imprint on Hollywood for life after basketball, they're not going to do it if it ain't going to be right. It won't be Space Jam 1 because of the originality of it. If it's better than Space Jam 1, I, I'd be surprised, but I think it'll be good for this generation, man. That was, what, 95, 96, or something like that. But uh, Goodfellas Sports TV, appreciate it. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. All the links in the description. Share the video for your boy. We gone.